We are currently live from the Spira <laughs> Clinic in Northwest Arkansas, Fayetteville, Arkansas. If you are watching this today, please let us know where you're watching from and thank you for our top fans that are always yeah. watching. <laughs> and you have family and friends watching today? I think so. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> from Montana. Hi guys. <laughs> you are my first Montana on the now. Yeah. And I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Kaya, how long have you had CRPS for? I've had it for 12 years. Okay, so everybody pause, and I want to make sure you guys understand that she's had it for 12 years, because I've had recent comments where people said, only kids can get better, or only people that have had it um, shorter than a year can get better, and where is your baby today? Uh, it's nowhere today. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, but it started in my hands and my feet, and it spread to my whole body. It was everywhere, <laughs> like from the tip, of the top of my head to the bottom of my toes to my tongue. Like that was when a doctor, he's like, "Is it really everywhere?" Yes. <laughs> Digestive issues? Yeah, a lot. Um, I didn't really go to the bathroom. <laughs> like I would go months without going. Two <laughs> months. Yeah. And um, you've tried a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Um, so we've done a lot of medications, um, some narcotic, um, some more neuropathic, some brain ones. Um, I can't be really angry about the pain ones because, like, I know with one of them, I was able to walk. And, like, I don't want to be on it, but I can't be upset about that. Um, we also did a, a couple programs where they thought if you put yourself in the most pain possible, you'll basically break or reboot your brain um, so that you'll go back to being normal. So I was doing like eight hours of exercise a day, um, took up boxing, uh, swam until I puke, um, had dad throw balls at my stomach, like just whatever I could just so, so I could get better, so I could go and do school. Um, and then we also had one great doctor um, who did bring it down a little bit, but it never stayed. Um, it was called Calmer. Um, it's similar to what you guys do here, but it's not physical activity. It's just lie on a bed and have things connected to you. And that works for some people. Yeah, and it does. <laughs> I was just looking for the speaker. I keep hearing yeah. the mysterious speaker behind me. Um, I want to get your... Um, Therapist Bryce up here. Are you taking any medications today? No, not no pain medications. No. <laughs> did you take pain medications all through the twelve years? Yeah, I did. And to be clear, your pain is at a zero. Zero. Big fat zero. <laughs> um, and I want your mom up here. She's like, you found me. You found me, right? Yes. Us. You found us. Um, on Facebook. Yes. So if you guys watching this, that's where it all started, was on yeah. Facebook. And you have not been able to wipe this grin off your face <laughs> for the last two weeks. That's probably true, yeah. Bryce, what did you guys do last week? You know, when Kaya started, she, she could move, she could walk. She had a lot of balance issues, and she couldn't reach much past her knees in, in a forward flexion. What can you do now? She touched the ground. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, regarding the laying in a bed, not doing anything with cables hooked up to you, or moving with the cables hooked up to you, moving with the cables hooked up to you allows you to reestablish proper neurological communication. So you use the muscles to support the movement you want to do, and that's what we've done this whole time. And it's been a long journey. How many how many weeks were you here? Uh, almost 14. Almost 14 weeks, yeah. and yesterday we ran a half mile yeah. and didn't cause any pain, no flares. First time doing that in eight years. You put a lot of a lot of hard work in. There was a lot of roadblocks for you, a lot a lot of bumps, but you know she had she persevered. She she got stronger and stronger each and every day. And it was great to watch her in there because she never quit. She never said stop. She questioned to learn what we were doing, but she never questioned if it was going to work for because the results spoke for, for itself. First day, I think you touched the ground, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I got really close to the ground. I grazed it with my fingertips, yeah. It held and that it felt the whole lighter. Time. Yeah. Learned to use your hamstrings, <laughs> yeah. strengthened your hip ups, took, took care of the stomach stuff too. Yeah. Got off the pain meds, that was scary. Very scary. <laughs> but even with no pain meds, we did, we did those runs. Yeah. Took yeah. a break for the brain wave. It's some ups and downs, mm -hmm. yeah. It wasn't this. It was no. 
and it's different for each patient. I think Bryce can. Absolutely. Can. You know, it's not like you come in here and you just rolled your ankle or something. We just got to address that one side. There's multiple areas goes into the gastrointestinal stuff as well with a lot of patients. The headaches, yeah. you had a headache every, every day. day for like the first five or six weeks. Yeah. But we kept doing the protocol for that and you never really said anything about it anymore. No, it's, if you it's had gone and it it's, like it's weird, tube. yeah. <laughs> it's the new Kaya, the yeah. new and improved Kaya. And we're talking the other day about, you know, what she's gonna go back to doing and activities and hobbies and she didn't know. She had it when you were what? 11? Yeah, 11. 11 years old. So there's a lot of exploring for you to do out there. And, you know, that's why we do those tests. That's why we did the run. So we can build that confidence up to know that you can do anything you want. And she answered the call every time. So we're very proud of you. Kat. Thank you. This must have been tough for you guys watching her suffer. And I have a lot of moms and dads and sisters and brothers grandparents watching and, and they feel your pain because when you're helpless but you did you fight to bring her here did she want to come she <laughs> did not want to come <laughs> she did not yeah. leave I, I watched one video before coming yeah she told me that yesterday on the run she watched one video yeah. it must have been a good one i watched uh, somebody was talking about going back and they had bryce as their therapist and i thought okay maybe <laughs> and she came and she did it all do you have anything else you want to say? Um, okay. <laughs> Thank you for my family. Um, there's some people who don't have people that believe you, and I've been very blessed that you guys did believe me. And I used to say that I wished I had polka dots and stripes all over me, just so that people would see, yeah, it's here. <laughs> um, and uh, there's another part of it is I, I feel so bad for my family and some of the other things we don't talk about that the pain causes like just psychologically and depression um i st struggled a lot with that and when i was at my worst and wasn't getting out of bed and wasn't due i attempted suicide um i had done the math had categorized it i was certain that i needed x amount and it was gonna succeed and i just went to sleep and uh then i woke up and was kind of refreshed, but disappointed in myself and so ashamed. Um, but I, I'm not ashamed that it didn't work. <laughs> um, I'm very grateful that it didn't work. And I feel like that was, I guess, in God's plan for me. Um, I can't say I'm blessed for knowing this, but um, I, I knew a girl who had CRPS as well. And um, I wasn't talking to her about that and my struggles. And uh, she ended up killing herself with the gun and completing it and I was her no. She left a voicemail. Um, so if you are out there, um, there's other people and it's hard to reach out through Facebook. I personally don't have an account just because I felt like I kept getting bogged down but your family's here and there's other people and I mean there's hope. I mean it's really cliche but the hold on pain ends hope. Wow. Another cliche. Put the hard work in and get the reward. Yeah. <laughs> Put a lot of hard work in. I said I wasn't gonna cry. Oh, I'm, sorry. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Bryce is it for you. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Thanks for watching.